Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is going to be the making of this little number. So if you're interested in seeing how I sewed it up, then let's get started. Starting with the fabric, this is a wool blend. It's about a medium weight or so and it's in this lovely check design. The only other fabric I'll be using is a viscose lining, which you'll see in a second. And on to the cutting out. This is my back. My fabric underneath is on the fold. I have a couple of notches at my side seam that will help me join my side pieces later on. A dart at the shoulder. I'm just snipping those dart legs. And a notch at the centre back seam at the neck. So I've just popped a pin in at the point of the dart and I'm going to mark it now with some chalk. So that's my back all cut out. I just need to mark in those dart legs. So just lining my ruler up with the dot and the notch you see me snip. Drawing in my lines. And ready to pin. So just making sure that blue line on top and bottom match up. And pinning from the point to the shoulder. And ready to stitch. So starting at the bottom of the dart legs, back stitching, following that blue line the whole way up to the point and just pulling my threads there at the end. So that's how that looks. So I just need to tie off those threads and give the whole thing a bit of a press, which you can see I've went ahead and done here. And for the lining, I've went ahead and cut this out off camera. I've pinned up my dart and stitching here in exactly the same way as I did the outer fabric. Back stitching at the start. Putting my threads at the end. And just like before, I'll tie those off and give the whole thing a nice press. And that's how that looks. So that's my back pieces all prepped and ready to be added to the sides. But before I do that, I'm just going to work on the front. So I have two layers of fabric underneath this pattern piece. I have one dart at the shoulder and I'm just marking it with a couple of notches. Marking the point with a pin and then a couple of notches at the neck to indicate my facing. And then two last notches on this piece and that's just indicating the opening for my arms. So that's my dart and all my notches marked. So the last thing to mark on this piece is my pocket opening. So I'm just popping a pin in at the top and bottom of my pocket and I'll mark those in exactly the same way as I did the dart on the back off camera. So I've just drawn that line between those two pins for my pocket opening and I've also drawn in my dart legs from the point to the notches. So that's those all pinned up and ready to stitch. So starting at the bottom of the dart leg, following that blue line the whole way up, pulling my threads at the point, which just like the back darts, I'll tie off camera and give them a bit of a press, which you can see I've went ahead and done here. Nice and neat. And then for the front lining, I have two layers of that viscose fabric underneath this pattern piece. And I have a couple of little dots just about halfway down the dart. That's where I'm going to start stitching. This is just going to give the lining a little bit more room inside the jacket. So back stitching to start. Following that line the whole way up to the shoulder. And back stitching to finish. So I've given that a good press and this is how it looks. So happy with that. And now that my darts are all in place, I'm ready to work on my pockets. So the first thing to do is to cut out my little pocket flaps. My fabric underneath this piece is on the fold and I'm cutting this twice. So before I can add these to the jacket, I just want to give them a little bit of structure. So I'm adding in some press-on interfacing. This is canvas. I shall list it in the description box below. So 
So that's that done. So now just to join these two bottom edges together. So stitching within my seam allowance using a little bit of a longer stitch length. And this is just to make sure that these two pieces of fabric don't move around when I'm trying to place them on the jacket. So that's how that looks. So that's my little pocket flap all prepped. So here I'm just lining it up with that blue line in the centre and pinning into place and ready to stitch. And just like before, I'm stitching within my seam allowance using a little bit of a longer stitch length. So that's my pocket flap positioned exactly where I want it to be. So now for the pockets themselves. So this is my under pocket. I have two layers of the outer fabric underneath this pattern piece. So that's that done. And here I'm just lining up that straight edge with that blue line in the centre and pinning. And ready to stitch. And this time I'm stitching at my 1cm seam allowance, back stitching to start and back stitching to finish. So that's how that looks. So that's my pocket flap positioned and my under pocket in place. So now for my top pocket. So I have two layers of lining fabric underneath this pattern piece. And just like before, I'm lining that straight edge up with the blue line in the centre, pinning into place and ready to stitch. Back stitching to start, trying to be really careful that I'm sticking to my one centimetre seam allowance. Back stitching to finish. So that's how that looks. So I've got my under pocket, my top pocket and my pocket flap all in. This is what it looks like from the underside. And now to cut open along that blue line I marked at the start. So just folding my fabric in half, popping a little snip in at the centre, and then cutting from the centre to about an inch or so away from my first stitch there. And then from that point I'm just going to snip to that first stitch on both sides at a diagonal. So you can see I've done that here. Same thing on the bottom. So that's my pocket all opened up and now just feeding my pocket pieces through to the inside and lining up the edges of my pocket flap. And once it's had a nice press, this is how it looks. So now I'm ready to close up the pocket. So I'm making sure that my pockets are all lined up, that that little triangle is sitting on top of my seam allowance at the side. And I'm just going to stitch from one side the whole way around the pocket and right up to the other side, making sure I catch that little triangle of fabric on both sides. So back stitching to start, at my 1cm seam allowance, the whole way around. Back stitching to finish. And off camera I've just finished off those edges and given the whole thing a good press. And this is how it looks. So super pleased with this. So now that my pockets are all in, I'm ready to do a little bit of prep work on the front facing. So I'm just going to press the facing to the inside, give myself a nice little crease line there, and then I'm going to place some of that same interfacing that I used earlier right up against that crease line and press into place. So that's going to add a little bit of structure and support for my press studs, which I'll be applying later on. So that's that done. So now that all of my prep work is done to the front, I'm ready to add the sides. So I have two layers of that outer fabric underneath this pattern piece, a double notch at the back, 
and then those two notches at the front indicating my arm opening. So that's that done. Exactly the same thing with the lining. So I have two layers of that viscose fabric underneath this pattern piece and I've went ahead and snipped my notches already. So before I can add my side panel to my front I just need to tidy up that edge which I've went ahead and done off camera. I've tidied up the edges of my side panel also off camera and here I'm just laying that side panel over my front right sides together, lining up those notches you seen me snip earlier and pinning. And stitching here from the hem at my one centimeter seam allowance right up to that first notch so that's the bottom of my arm opening back stitching here moving my fabric down to the second notch back stitching again and sewing right up to the shoulder so that's my little opening in the center and then stitch below and above So I've just pressed that seam open off camera and this is how it looks. So happy with that and now that that's done I'm ready to add my back. So I've done exactly the same here as I did on the front. I went ahead and finished that edge and now I'm just lining up that side panel which is now attached to my front to the back. And this time I'm pinning the whole way along making sure I've lined up those notches so back stitching to start at my one centimeter seam allowance, the whole way up to the shoulder, curving there, and then over the top of the shoulder. Back stitching at the neck to finish. So that's that done. And just like before, I've pressed that seam open. So happy with that. So that's the bulk of my cape assembled, so now for a little bit of prep work on the hem. So just like the facing before, I've pressed my hem up by its allowance. I've also finished off that bottom edge and I've added in that same interfacing, just this time I've cut it on the bias. That will just make for a softer finish. So now that my hem's all prepped, I'm ready to move on to the neck facing. So I have two layers of fabric underneath this pattern piece my front facing. One layer of fabric underneath this one on the fold, my back facing. So now to join these pieces together. So off camera I've just popped in a little bit of that interfacing to the front and back and here I'm just laying my pieces right sides together and pinning. Stitching at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching to start and to finish that done. So I've just finished those edges and pressed and now that that's done I'm ready to add my lining. So off camera I've joined my side panels to my front and my back just like I did on the outer. I finished off all of my edges on the inside and the hem and here I'm just laying my facing right sides together with my lining, lining up that notch you see me snip earlier at the centre and popping in a pin. And ready to stitch. So back stitching to start at my one centimetre seam allowance making tiny little adjustments the whole way around, trying to be as accurate as possible here, and back stitching to finish. And of course I do exactly the same on the other side. And this is how it looks when the other side is sewn and I finished off my edge. So happy with that. So now I want to understitch here, so in preparation for that I'm just going to press my lining making sure that that seam allowance in underneath is butted up against the lining. So you can see that here and I'm going to stitch as close to the facing as possible along the lining side. So using a little bit of a longer stitch length here 
I'm about a millimeter or two away from the facing, taking it nice and easy the whole way around and back stitching to finish. So that's that done. So I've given that a good press, which you can see here. And now that the neck facing is joined to the lining, I'm ready to add the whole thing to the outer. So just laying my lining over my outer, right sides together, lining up my centre back notch, my shoulder seams and my front facing, and pinning. So I'm going to stitch around the neck to the facing seam. I want to back stitch, move to the other side of that seam, stitch to the edge, and then I'm going to stitch the whole way down that centre front seam. So back stitching at the centre. I'm coming up to my facing here, back stitching. from that seam to the edge of the facing. Back stitching to start and to finish. So that's how that looks. So that just keeps that seam free so that I can stitch it really neatly the whole way down. So again starting at the neck, back stitching at my one centimeter seam allowance the whole way down until I get to the edge of the hem. So that's how that looks. So I finished off my edges off camera and given the whole thing a nice press. And now that that's done, I'm ready to finish the hem. So my outer hem is a little bit longer than my lining hem. That's just going to ensure that my lining doesn't poke out the bottom of my coat. So to sew it nice and neatly, I'm just pulling my lining hem down to meet up with my outer hem and popping in a pin. I'll get a little kink in my outer fabric here, but that's okay. You'll see how that works when I pull the whole thing through to the right side. So just lining up all of my seams and pinning the whole way across the hem. I'm ready to stitch. So back stitching to start at my one centimeter seam allowance, making sure everything's lined up along that corner and back stitching to finish. So that's how that looks. And now to pull the whole thing through to the right side. So I'm just going in my little armhole slits, pulling everything through. And once it's had a nice press, this is how it looks. So you can see just at that bottom edge how the lining's nicely pulled up from the hem of the outer. So super happy with this. So now that that's all done, I'm ready to close up my little armhole slits. So I'm using a silk thread here and a super fine needle. And I'm just anchoring my thread just at that corner. And then I'm just picking up a little bit of fabric from the outer a little bit of fabric from the lining and repeating the whole way up one side of the slit and down the other. And once it's all done, this is how it looks. So happy with that. So now I just have a few finishing touches. So the fold of my hem isn't joined in any way. So I just want to run a line of invisible stitches close to the lining the whole way round, just to hold the outer fabric and the hem together. This will just give a super nice finish. So I'm just going in through the hem, out through the outer fabric, back down through again as close as I can get to that first stitch. And then I'm going back in between the two layers wiggling my needle back and forth, picking up a little fibre from the outer, little fibre from the hem, and repeating that the whole way around the hem. And once it's all done, this is how it looks. So happy with that. I've done exactly the same thing the whole way up the centre front along the facing. 
and along the neck facing. And now that that's all done, I'm ready to add my closure. So for this little cape, I've chosen Snap Fasteners. These are about a medium size, they're hemline brand, and they're the sew-in kind. I've also covered some large buttons, and I'm going to sew those on top of the fasteners. So I've just popped those on off camera, and this is how it looks. And with that, this little cape is complete. So I've got my darts in the front, I've got my little armhole openings, got those gorgeous pockets, really happy with these, lining all in place, super neat and tidy, got that facing the whole way up the centre front and around the neck, and this is what it looks like on. So I absolutely love how this has turned out. It's so comfortable, like really comfortable. I love the buttons down the front. I love that they're snap fasteners too, quick and easy. Those pockets I absolutely adore. This fabric is super soft and quite cosy as well. I had a little bit of this outer fabric left so I made myself just a little simple scarf and I think it just sets off the neckline really nicely. But anyway, love this one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you guys in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye, folks. <laughs>